Yeah. Yeah, I remember that night very well. Uh, in fact, far too well. Because you came here, I didn't know why you were coming in the middle of the night with two people from the township. Yes. Uh, all I knew that we had a lot of trouble here in, in Amanas. Yes. There were protests uh, about land, about uh, poverty, about housing, all of that stuff. You first said, start a university. I said, this is not the right time to start it. I mean, you don't start anything like this, but it is the right time. This is the moment when you grasp that opportunity. Mm -hmm. and you were saying, why don't you start a university? Well, I thought you were mad, and I thought I was even more insane to even contemplate uh, that uh, suggestion. Uh, but I, you know, I was always very uh, enthusiastic about Sparkle Kids, mm. what you've achieved. Mm. With these amazing kids that, you know, have nothing going for them except their own innate abilities mm. and desire for learning and for a better life. Yes. So uh, that whole night after you had challenged you me. You sat awake with big eyes. I was awake the whole night saying, <laughs> how? I mean, you can't just start a university overnight. No. Uh, Cambridge University took 500 years to get going. I thought, well, let me talk to one or two people mm. and say to them, this is what Theo has done with Sparkle mm. Kids 1. Mm. How about Sparkle Kids 2? Uh, what if we developed a center that became the hub to connect young people, and not only young people, anybody with a thirst for, for uh, skill learning and so forth, connect them to the, the best institutions in the country. Distance education, but with tutors mm. from here. Yes. That was, and I spoke here, and I spoke in Stellenbosch to the deputy vice chancellors, two of them, and they all said, this has got potential. Yes. So go for it. Yeah. And you'll remember the first meeting that we had, we invited all the retired academics we could find in Amanas, and there were 90. Yes. And 70 of them came. And they said, right, go for it. We've got, we've got the most incredible team of uh, professionals, mm. but volunteers, yes. skilled academics, um, uh, you, you name it, exactly the people yes that you would need to start mm. something like this. They've all suddenly appeared from all over the place. Some have come back from America where they've been professors. Mm. Some have come back from Australia. I mean, it's a dream team. Uh, as much as people feel inspired by our story, uh, we need your help. We can't actually do this alone. We, we're keeping our uh, expenses to a minimum in terms of stuff that isn't directly related to training students, educating them. But you've got to have infrastructure. You've got to have competent staff. Uh, we've got to have resources. We need your help. And um, we, Theo and I and the rest of the team, uh, you know, this, this has been wonderful for us. We think it can be wonderful for you to participate. Um, I think it is exactly what is needed, both for the Overstrand and the Western Cape. We can't all sit back and wait for answers from government and other institutions. We have to rise up above that as a community and make it happen for ourselves. And that is why it is by the community, for the community. And I think that is how you make a difference in the lives of other people. You stand up and you participate. To, to change the destiny of a young person from hopelessness to hope. And to see hope come into the eyes, jump into the eyes of a young person changes not only that young person, it changes the family. And in changing the family, you change the community. And in changing the community, you change your country from hopelessness to hope. The world opened for me only because I started that route, that road 
that journey through education. I wasn't thinking I wanted to go and work. I didn't have that dream. But if you start, the world opens. Biji, biji. Little by little. You know, you take one step and the horizon moves. Another step, the horizon. The, 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 you know, the sky is really the limit. So I'm just saying, just go get it. Don't stop. Stop at nothing. You, if you can dream it, you can believe it, you can live it, and it, it's just yours. Don't, don't stop at nothing. That's my advice. This is a time to build together. And don't for one second think that your contribution won't make a difference. Please visit our website for more information. Email us and get in contact with us and be part of this incredible building up process.